All right, I'm here at Adrenaline. Uh, I'm here with veteran fighter and newly signed UFC fighter, uh, Chris Menes Clements. Chris, how you doing? Thanks for taking the time, as always. And uh, first, I want to ask you, you know, just got married. How's that going for you? That's yeah, going pretty good. Um, wife's pregnant right now. Yeah. So due uh, March 14th. So, uh, I'm trying to get the house ready right now. My kitchen's half torn apart. I got new cupboards on the floor, old cupboards on the floor. <laughs> Getting all that done and nursery yeah. and everything. Nursery's the dressers are made, put up, the crib's done. So I paint the room. I don't know where it happens. So we gotta wait till the little thing pops out so we can figure out how to paint the room. And you're gonna wait for sure. Yeah. Nice. Good job. Um, all that in the middle of training. You have a big fight coming up, obviously. Uh, I kind of wanted to ask you how how it all went down. You know, signing uh, with the big show, and then also maybe a comment about uh, about the announcement to Montreal, and then switch over now to Atlanta. Uh, how'd that all happen? Uh, the signing. I messed, I had a couple of agents after my Clemente win. I had a different couple of organizations call me up and talk to me about wanting to manage me and stuff. And, um, a friend of mine, Jason Parks, who ran a pro professional fighting championship from Windsor. I've been talking to a guy named Jason Chambers at uh, ASA Apex uh, Sports Agency. He told me that the guy wanted to talk to me or whatever, so I thought I'd hear him out. As I heard a couple other guys out, he made a lot of sense to me. He told me uh, uh, he got him in the UFC. I said, really, I don't really need a manager. I'm less than the UFC to manage myself. And yeah. I can do just fine in Canada, I just need to do the UFC. So, uh, he told me he was going to talk to Joe Silva so he could come up with. And, January 6th, I think, he was he gave me a call from the treadmill with Mark Dominic. He says to me, all casual, like, no big deal. And he's, so, you know, we were trying to get you in the UFC and the Montreal, and I just want to let you know we got you in. We're going to fight Keith Wazinski. You got your four fight contract. And I was like, oh, hold on. I mean, I was in the middle of a jog on a treadmill, so I, had, I wasn't really prepared for it. When he asked me to get off, I thought it was going to be bad news. And then when he told me, it just kind of didn't really hit me at all. Like, I was at the gym, Mark announced it at the whole gym and stuff. And nice. I just took my hand and I was pretty pumped, but it didn't really hit me until I got home and called my wife. Because my wife's been there with me since I turned pro pretty much. Yeah. She, she knows how what it meant to me to get into it. So when I got home and explained to the wife, you know, I tried to make it all sneaky and start throwing away the junk food in the house. So I just couldn't really do it. I could sneak it in, but there was no being cool at all. I just basically I told her and I was like She could tell. Yeah, she she started crying right away because she you know how happy I was. That's cool, that's cool. Um, and uh, for you, it, it's kind of uh, Wisniewski. I don't know. I, I was looking at his background, and I don't know if you have common opponents, things like that. But uh, you know, that is the fight now. And uh, to me, I see, I see this. He, he's more of a grappling wizard. Uh, and uh, once again, you're coming up with some a guy who, who's a grappling guy. And what do you see? Uh, what kind of danger he poses to you? I don't see this fight much different than any other fight I take. I, I, if you look at my my record. All wins by knockout, all losses to submission, pretty much. So, no decisions. I, I figure everybody who fights me, except for a select few strikers out there, are going to plan on taking me to the ground, plan right. on tapping me out. So, some of the same game plan as everybody else. Just, you know, stick to my game, you know, stick and move, knock them out. Game. And do that. I didn't realize. I didn't realize it was a four fighter. That's for sure. Four fight contract for you. So you'll be looking ahead to and and uh, um, I appreciate you taking the time again. And uh, you know, looking forward to that. I was hoping to be there in Montreal. Probably not going to be there now in Atlanta. But yeah, uh, I was bummed about the Montreal. Like, yeah. A lot of us. I come from a small town and a really close family. Everybody's been real supportive of me and coming up the whole time. So when I found out I was fight in Montreal. I was pretty pumped that my family could all come. And yeah. Back home, but now it's in Atlanta, they won't be able to. So you know, I just plan on going there and put on a good show for the UFC. It's for sure to have me back in the next 10 so. Yeah, that's excellent. Appreciate your time, Chris, and uh, best of luck to you.